12 jurors settled into their seats, including the man at the defense. The air down south feels different before it rains. Thick. Heavy. Ominous. The night of June 7th, 2021, mm -mm, was mm -mm. like that. The Colleton County Coroner says Margaret Murdaugh and her son Paul both suffered multiple The investigators are still piecing together a motive for the deaths of Paul and Maggie Murdaugh. It was a night... During that investigation, the only time that I was truly alone was when I was in my car leaving the office and going home, or from home to the office. I'd go home and I'm just sitting in my chair, you know, trying to unwind, and I'm like, what did I miss? What else can I go back? Who else can I talk to? I'd wake up in the middle of the night. I need to do that report. I'm mentally exhausted every day. 21 months. June 7th, the time I got the phone call. Definitely not a chef here. Just cutting this shower up. Not even sure if that's how you pronounce it. My eyes are on fire. Oh man, my eyes are burning. God. Salt and pepper, your carrots, and then Put half of the cinnamon paprika spice on them. Throw them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Do not forget to oil your pan before throwing it in. And I did it on both sides. That way it wouldn't stick to the pan and the seasoning would stick to top and bottom of the carrots. Then we cut up the walnuts. And... Next, we're going to cut up the raisins, or golden raisins, I think is what those are. So heat a drizzle of oil in a pot, and we're going to take half the shallot with the raisins, and not sure how to pronounce this. Uh, let's see. Coscus. We're going to cook it until it's softened. So, just cook this until it's softened. And then we're going to add three-fourths cup of water and half of our chicken stock. Now after we pat dry the pork chops and salt and pepper on both sides, make sure it's nicely patted down and dry with paper towels on both sides. Then we're going to season it all over real good with garlic powder. Should look something like that. Now we're gonna heat a little drizzle of oil in here and then we're gonna throw the pork chops in here. That's probably good enough. I added the chicken stock and the three fourths cup of water. Now we are going to boil it. Five or six minutes. In the same pan that you cooked the pork chops in, put a little bit more oil in there and some salt and pepper. And then we are going to stir that in with a half a cup of water and the cranberry jam with the remaining stock concentrate and the cinnamon paprika sauce. So we'll have the remaining shallot in there. I'll put the jam in cranberry jam. Alright. Then we'll 
I'll put the rest of the stock concentrate in there. And then try to get it all, squeeze it all out of it. As we all know in life, every bit fucking counts. It's the little things. The cinnamon paprika goes in. I think it's a good idea. I stayed home today. Had this really weird Knock it off now. Eggs. I don't know. I don't know what they're barking at. Thank <laughs> you. 